Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Maths, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 42x squared minus 69x plus 20 equals 7x squared minus 8, and we need to solve this by factoring. Let's bring everything to the left-hand side. We subtract a 7x squared, and we add an 8 to both sides. What happens? Well, 42x squared minus 7x squared is 35x squared. The minus 69x goes down, and then 20 plus 8 is 28. And that's equal to, well, the whole point, 0. This is a hairy problem, but we have to factor it. So let's go break it down slowly. Our a is 35, and our c value is 28. What two numbers multiply by 35? That's 1 and 35, and 5 and 7. What pairs of two numbers multiply by 28? And that's 1 and a 28. 2 and a 14, and 4 and a 7. Now, our C value is a positive number, but our B value is negative. That means both of these pairs in the C, uh, both numbers in each pair has to be negative. So now we ask ourselves, picking from a pair in, the, in the a, our A column, what pair, one of them, multiplied by one from the C plus one from the A times the other one from the C gets us a negative 69. And I'm kind of leaning towards the five and seven here Okay, and then what is it, the 4 and the 7, the negative 4 and negative 7. Mainly because, it's a good educated guess, but 7 times a negative 7 is equal to a negative 49, which gets me close to the negative 69. Then, the other number, 5 times a negative 4, what is that equal? Well, that's a negative 20. We add the two together, like we're supposed to, and we get a negative 69. So we've got our pair right there. So let's write this in factored form. We had no for the first pair, and it has to be a 7 times an x, and then a 5x here equals 0, and then we put the c values in. Now 7 got multiplied by the negative 7, so the minus 7 has to go on this side, and then the 5 got multiplied by the negative 4, so we put a minus 4 here. Now we have to solve each part, or solve this by taking each part individually and setting it equal to zero. So 7x minus 4 equals zero, and 5x minus 7 equals zero. Solve the first one, add a 4 to both sides. 7x equals a positive 4, divide both sides by 7, and x equals a positive 4 sevenths. Do the same thing with the second equation, add a 7 to both sides. And 5x here equals a positive 7. Divide by 5. And x equals 7 fifths. So we can write this actually as a single statement. x equals 4 sevenths and 7 fifths. And by combining that together, that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.